We'll finish all the festival stuff today, and then that'll be it for today. Perfect. Yeah, the song, final song fits it perfectly. I'll bet it'll be quite the surprise for our audience, too. See? What did I tell you? Well, one doesn't typically attend concerts expecting a deception. They'll never see it coming. I see no harm in a little unpredictability. After all, the festival after all the festival planning, I think people will be will appreciate something that wasn't part of the program. Now that we've got that settled, it all comes down to how much we can pump up the cr crowd. Well, we we've done just about everything we can do. We'll just have to play our hearts out and let fate decide the rest. This is going to be so much fun. Huh? Is something wrong, Emma? You don't look so hot. You're not starting to feel sick, are you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm feeling fine. I was just thinking about the last news, latest news I heard about Crossbell. Yeah, it's the there's that rumor going around. You're talking about the one involving the International Bank of Crossbell, right? Apparently, they've frozen assets to all their foreign accounts. On top of that, you've got the bank CEO. Dieter Kreuz, serving as one of Crossbell's two heads of state. He won the mayoral election a few months ago, but even in political office, he stays on his... stayed on his head in the IBC. I actually met him in person once. Wow, oh, really? Yeah, not on my own though. I was with my mother. The uh, IBC, a long-standing IBC is a long-standing business partner for the Rhineford Company. They act as an intermediary for the Orville Network, and Arcus Project actually, an Arcus Project actually, but he never seems like the kind of person who do anything this extreme. If the IBC really has frozen the bank's international assets. It's going to cause chaos across the entire continent, not just in Erebonia. It could lead to a depression. A big one. Some of my family's assets have been hit by the IBC's freeze as well. I just don't get it. If they push their luck too hard with the Empire and the Republic, there won't be a Grossville state for much longer. So either they're doing all this accepting that that could happen, or they've got something else in mind. Well, all of this going on, are your families really going to be able to make it tomorrow? Got a lot of VIP parents in this class who are supposed to show up, right? That's true. Might be rather difficult for them to make it. Given he's on the board of directors, I was expecting my dad to at least make an appearance, even if he couldn't stay. Yeah, I don't think my sister will have any trouble making it, but I'm not so sure about my dad now. Same situation here. My grandfather should be able to make it. No problem, but my mother... My only family member who will be visiting is my younger brother. Yeah, only my sister will be coming, so nothing to worry about there. Eustace and Laura, you've both got family coming too, right? Right. But considering my father's current position... Whether he makes it or not depends more or less on chance, chance and circumstance. I can't really hazard a guess as to whether my brother will be able to make it. Ordinarily, he has a reasonable degree of freedom, but with all that's going on now, been going on, he's been quite a busy man. You can save yourself some ironic hand wringing. I've just been informed that all of them will be able to make it. Instructor? Is that true? Sure is. 
They all called the Academy about it earlier today, in fact. The situation in Crossville isn't so dire that it's going to have an immediate impact on the Empire. So, there's this. they've decided that the best thing to do is just attend as planned, to show everyone it's still business as usual. Well, that's certainly something. I'm actually a bit relieved to hear that. Anyway, never mind that. We got your big day tomorrow, so I hope you're ready to tear it up on stage. Class One's got the operetta they're doing right. I snuck a peek at their rehearsal earlier, and the amount of effort they're putting into the, the whole production is almost scary. Wait, they're rehearsing today too? It looks like they went straight to the principal to ask for permission, and he made a special exception for them. I figured they just cast coast along on their family's pe family pedigrees, but they're putting their hearts and souls into this. Whatever you guys said, you must really lift a little fire under them. What should we do? Maybe we should have one more rehearsal, just in case. Now, nah. yeah, each. If it's the day before what you're supposed to do, that's, even if it's a test or anything, you need to just stop, let things sink in. Or you're gonna just gonna probably be a, have a whole bunch of mistakes that might be ingrained into you by tomorrow. No, we put in plenty of time. We're as good as we're gonna be for this performance. Any more rehearsal would just be redundant. I suppose you're right. If we wipe ourselves into a panic, or whip ourselves into a panic, and just rehearse until we draw, we might actually be more likely to screw up. You made a point. Make a good point. In lacrosse, getting good rest before a big match makes a huge difference. I guess it may be best to simply rest for tonight then. We'll need every bit of our strength tomorrow. Yeah, you've done all the work we can. I'm sure a good wind will blow on us. <laughs> I'm impressed. You guys are a lot more, a lot calmer, calmer than I thought you'd be. And here I was, all ready to lecture you in your seriously, you you seriously suggesting rehearsing at this time of the night. Um, instructor, we wouldn't have even thought of, to do it if you hadn't come barging in here trying to scare us by telling us about class one. She's just sulking because she feels left out. That's a dirty lie, and you know it. Hey, what's that sound? Are they ringing the bell this late? Hold up. It's not the school's bell. I can't remember ever hearing one like that around here before. Now that you mention it, it did sound different from the bell we normally hear. Wait. Oh, it couldn't be. This is like the bell we heard in Lohegrim Castle. Lohengrim Castle, isn't it? It is the same sound, I'm sure of it. That's impossible, and yet... What? What's going on, you guys? Lohengrim is the whole castle in Lohegrim, isn't it? Yeah, the one you told us the ghost story about. It seems like things had just took a turn for the strange. And I have a feeling I know where this lonesome bell is tolling from. Come with me if you're curious. Yeah, didn't figure it'd be the main building bell. Wait, that would mean... Who forgot to turn off the lights? Milliam? Was that you? I knew it. Let's go take a closer look. What's going on? Are they off to at this hour? 
And what is that bell tolling coming from? And where is that bell tolling coming from? Okay. The clock isn't is broken, I think, guys. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Seems like there's some kind of force field. No idea what's powering it though. Oh my! There's something very strange about this. Very strange indeed. This academy may have been founded by Emperor Dreykels, but this particular building dates back long before even his time, I believe. Principal Van Dyke, what are you all doing here? Green? Ah, and Sarah's with you too. So, you've come. What's going on here? I'm sure you heard the tolling of the bell earlier. Apparently, as soon as that started, this barrier appeared. We've had several students testify that was the case, at any rate. Looks like it's covering the entire building. I tried the direct approach and hit it with a hammer, but it just absorbed the impact. <laughs> All right, come on. You're supposed to be the smart guy, so you just walked up and smacked him with a hammer? Really? Wow. So it's some sort of field that negates any physical force applied to it? We've known from the beginning that this building was one big mystery, but it seems we didn't realize just how big. <sighs> hmm. Want me to call out Lammy and have him smash through? Don't bother. It'd just be a repeat of what happened in Lohengrin Castle. Yeah. Nothing we tried could even scratch that barrier. And this one seems a lot like it. Hmm. Gather the staff for an emergency meeting. I'm afraid we'll have to prepare for the worst. Yes, sir. I suppose we have no other recourse at this point. Toa, going forward, let's assume that the second day of the festival and all related events will need to be cancelled. No, not the festival. George, I'd like you to gather your equipment and keep a close watch on this area. Yes, sir. Understood. Wait! Are you really going to cancel the festival? We can't cancel the festival. Who cares how dangerous it'd be? Under these circumstances, there's not much else we can do. If the building is still like this tomorrow morning, there's no way we can let visitors onto the campus. We have no idea what's happening in there either. The risk of danger is too great. It's possible we might need to evacuate the Academy. Or even all of Trista. No way. Damn it. Is that our only option? I guess from a risk management point of view, that's the only sensible course of action, but... <sighs> they like that rain breathing sound a bit. Over the past month, we've poured everything we have into getting ready for this festival. Maybe we wanted to prove we could put on just as good a show as the other classes. Maybe we wanted to impress our families. Okay, get off the soap box, Rain. Maybe it's just that being with friends and working to make something great is its own reward. Rain? Yeah. That's all just secondary right now. What's really important is our chance to leave a legacy here. To do something new classes might look at and aspire to. Winning or losing, that doesn't really matter in the end. And it doesn't ultimately matter whether our show is a smash hit or totally tanks. Because what we worked for isn't fame or bragging rights. We worked to put on the best damn festival we could. So all I'm asking for is a chance to see that through. That's not too much to ask, is it? Oh. He's right, you know. I'm with Reen on this too. <laughs> Perhaps the best we can put forth will amount to nothing in the end. But even if it does, as long as we have a chance to do something about it, we won't just take this line down. Oh, you're finishing each other's sentences now. Yeah, we spent way too long practicing to just throw it all away. 
Besides, it'd be super lame if we missed a chance to strut our stuff! Amelium knows what we're all saying. He's just not sugarcoating it. Since the beginning of the year, it's been our class's responsibility to investigate the old schoolhouse. That's right. And it just so happens that we haven't made our monthly visit yet. <gasps> you guys are actually serious. <sighs> sure looks that way. Man, hearing you guys so fired up brings a little tear to my eye. Well, I certainly admire your spirit, but spirit alone won't be enough to get you past this barrier. Oh, Reen, what's that light? Huh? What is this? Are we Digi-Destin? It's coming from your Arcus pouch. Guys, we're Digi-Destin. Yeah, but why? I call Gumon. Looks like the quartz is shining. What? We're all did you, Destin? What's happening? Now all of our Argus units are glowing. What's going on? I doubt it's mere coincidence that this light is the same hue as the barrier. You know, this actually reminds me of our very first day in the old schoolhouse. Indeed. We were all connected together through our Arcus combat links. It does seem similar. <laughs> Mine's doing it too. Ooh, this is so neato! The time has come. Now reveal. Reen? Reen! Almost looks like he's causing a sympathetic resonance with the field. Yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting. It's an invitation. Like I and the rest of Class 7 are being called in. know what to say I'm sorry sir I guess they ended up taking after their teacher a little too much <laughs> then you've been a fine instructor I stand impressed with your students besides making the choices that define you is part of growing up It's currently 1940 hours. I'll permit you until 0 hundred hours to conduct your investigation. Any later, and you won't get enough sleep to put on a rousing concert after all. Sir. Then we can... You deserve the chance to earn that legacy you were talking about. To leave a light for those who'll come after. Go on. I'm not gonna chide you for being rash. Not this time, anyway. And may the goddess guide your steps. Don't forget, too, that discretion is the better part of valor. Retreating isn't always a cowardly option. Instructor Sarah? Instructor Thomas? When did Instructor Thomas become a big part of this? He just, like, showed up and he's like, I'm here now. Deal with it. Right. Understood. Be careful in there, everyone! We'll do whatever we can out here to back you up. I'll leave the engineering building open for the night, so come on over if you need to use the facilities there. I'll go ask the shops in the cafeteria to keep the lights on for you, too. Thank you. All of you. We're counting on you. All right, let's go. That would hurt. I feel like that would hurt your eyes to be in there. The old schoolhouse was completely normal yesterday. 
happened. The current of wind here feels strange somehow. A lot like they did in Lohegrim Castle, actually. Indeed, I can sense a willing up of spiritual energy here, too. Lohegrim was the castle you guys got trapped in when you visited Lagram, right? It was, though it doesn't seem quite the same as the phenomenon we encountered there. I'm scared. There aren't gonna be any ghosts jumping out at us, are there? Something's definitely... something's different in here, too. Is the elevator... in the elevator hall? Might as well go take a look. Look, the elevator is glowing with the same light. Almost like it's trying to guide us. There's something different about the console, too. So, there is a seventh floor. What do you know? Class seven, seven floors? Who'd have thunk it? So, what a coincidence, huh? I knew the sixth floor couldn't possibly be the last. My guess is that the seventh floor holds the key to answering all the questions we had at this point. About this place, I mean. Well, shall we see what lies beyond? Right. Time to find out what dark terrors await us down here. You always do that breathing thing, and I don't like it. What is this? Glowing cogs? We've seen some strange stuff in this schoolhouse since we started coming here, but I think this takes the cake. Hmm. Confirming release of the sixth lock. Potential awakener detected. This looks the same as the red door we found on the fourth floor, but... It seems like there's an even bigger surprise behind this one. I'm very curious about this sixth lock and second trial business. Do you think the locks refer to each of the floors we've cleared so far? What's a potential awakener? Is it talking about one of us? I can scarcely venture a guess. But what seems certain is that we are here tonight because we were meant to be here. Yeah. <clears throat> Rain? Huh? Are you okay? It's the mark on your chest, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But how do you... Call it intuition. I think it should already be quite apparent, but... We're headed somewhere no living eyes have seen. Are you sure you're all prepared? Emma? 
Well, well. You certainly seem to be in the know about all of this. And how long has Celine been here? Back at the start of the year, I know we all had our doubts. But we've made it this far. Because we've accepted each other for who we are. And I think being part of Class 7 is a big part of that. Even if the world were to stand against us, we'd have each other. The challenges we face, we face together. Rain. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. On my first day with Class 7, I was sitting in a room full of strangers. Now I know I'm standing among friends. That's Laura, cutting right to the heart of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't ever recall accepting him. I could say the same about you! <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Honestly, if they ever stop bickering, I'd probably miss it. It's just one of those things that makes us what we are. Aww, you guys have a good thing going. Wish I was a part of it. You said it, Short Stack. Don't know that there's much of a place for a slackadaisical second year either. What kind of talk is that? You two belong here just as much as the rest of us. And I think you'll have to agree, Emma. Class 7 is the best there is. <laughs> well said. I may not always show much in the way of class spirit, but I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. Then what are we waiting for? No one might ever know what we do here tonight. We're not doing this to prove to others how great we are. We're doing it to prove it to ourselves. To face down our fear, conquer it, and earn the answers we deserve. Reen. All right, I won't try to dissuade you. Let's go earn our chance to leave our mark on this academy. I mean, I don't know if I'd want to go into a portal that looks like that. Yeah! As ready for last dungeon vibes because that's what I'm getting explanation but this is beyond imagination still this trial is ours to overcome and overcome it we shall yeah you're right so how about it reen any words of wisdom from our fearless leader huh what do you want me to say whatever you want i guess gotta have a little pep talk before we begin the mission Yep, just think of it as another of our old schoolhouse adventures. Let's do this, boss man! <laughs> just don't say anything you might regret later. <sighs> you guys aren't making this any easier. Alright, Class 7. Our mission is to explore the seventh floor of the old schoolhouse and find a way to return the building to normal. Are you ready to give this everything you've got? Yes, sir. Ow. Oh, for sure. Um, just, you know, get another s -graph. Why don't you? Oh, Emma has to be. Yeah, I was going to have her anyway. Um, Dream Team. 
Um, next. B, you're pretty good, so I'm gonna keep you. Uh. We, if we need a he someone to focus on healing defense, Elliot. I'm trying to think. Usus or Milium? Usus has that good S craft that boosts attack, both attacks and speed, but Milium probably has the best S craft. The craft skill, S craft. Which one? Uh. If I'm gonna switch someone in, I'm probably just gonna switch him in to do a quick S craft. Probably not having, because I already have a main party. So Millen's probably a better chance, a better choice here. The uses would be a decent option as well, but we'll go with Million. I just realized I left all the guys out. <laughs> Sorry, dudes. But I think I need to leave. Alright, bye guys. I give up. It was too hard. We're gonna have to give up, guys. Sorry. Probably should read this, but it's fine. Okay, um... Calm down. It's just ringing that bell all the time. Am I gonna have to hear that this, like, all the time? Okay, I guess it's not here anyway. Okay, check the bookstore. Uh, I'm still missing a singular book. But anyway. Um, oh wait, what am I doing? I need to go talk to... Wait. There you are. I need to talk to you. Finish this up. <laughs> My cooking has improved by leaps and bounds thanks to your efforts. Some of the upper class students were even asking for second seconds. Once they were, have finished, the sh that shock, the shocked look on their faces when I told them I was the one who made it, filled me with a twisted satisfaction. <laughs> I feel the same. I'm glad I could help you make that moment happen, even if my involvement was pretty minimal. Don't be so modest. This was all thanks to you, Rain. Really. Thank you for taking the time to bring so many different, unique dishes. And for that, I want you to have this. This looks really valuable. Are you sure you want me to have it? Of course I am. Hopefully, you'll find it helpful. To be perfectly honest, you helped me much more than I feel nothing... Helped me so much that I feel nothing I could ever serve as... Offer would serve as proper pay repayment. But yeah, my eternal gratitude, and my best wishes from here on. Oh, thanks. Okay, what is that? What is it? What is it? We got Yokai, and then Seraph was like here, right? Shine and Seraphic Ring. Okay. Um. Seraphic Ring, 100, 100. We'll give that to you. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with all that. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go through all that. But first, let's get everything we need to do. 
que... Okay, let's see if I cooked every single recipe. I think I did. Yes, I did. Okay. So I go to... Back to the school. Floor two. I'll get all this extra stuff done and then we'll be done for today. I'm still fe I'm feeling it from yesterday with the seven hour stream. What's the case with the racket aside? Oh hey, it's Margarita. What you up to, Margarita? Did you did the surgery wait sugary scent? Not tip you off. I'm in the middle of cooking up some delicious treats for tomorrow. Even the most sheepish of darlings will be head over heels in love with me the moment these touch their lips. No man alive could resist my feminine wiles once they've had a taste of margaritas of sweets. Yes, she either doesn't know or doesn't care about what's happening in the old schoolhouse. Well, I do say love is blind. They're just off somehow. They're delicious, as is, but I feel as if I need a special, especially, special twist. One incredible idea that makes them even more delectable. Perhaps, like a variety of recipes, would help me looking at a variety of recipes realize just what they need. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Would you mind showing me your, that recipe book of yours? You mean this? Yes, I do. What? Incredible. I've never seen a recipe book this full. Eh. Are you okay? I'm better than okay. I figured it out. I know what my treats were missing. All I need to do is take these ideas, mix them up all, all up with my overflowing libido, and throw it into the cooking pot. Oh, please don't say that. That's disgusting. I've finally done it. My latest and greatest confectionery achievement is here. The anticipatedly sweet but cut by this slap of bitterness. It took me some work, but I've finally done it. My miraculous love sweets are now complete. <laughs> smell. That reeks. What died and fell into the pot? Well, I'm happy you were able to finish them, at least. Oh, it's all thanks to Green and his recipe book. I would offer you a little taste as thanks, but there aren't many, and I have potential husbands to woo. <laughs> You'll have to be patient and wait until next time. I feel like I've been handed a stay of execution. How about this? Instead, while I've, it pales in comparison to my wonderful trees, I'll, it might suffice. Some mass reports? Where do you even get something like this? My father gave it to me when I returned home for the summer. He saw it when we were out antique shopping and snapped it up without a second thought. It's quite the enigma, apparently. No one would know where it was made. That's pretty fascinating. Regardless of its origins, this master course holds a great deal of power. It could be very useful to us. In that case, we should take her up on her offer. Okay, what? Um, Emma, did you? You're not done with yours. Which one was it? I guess. Okay, arts damage up. As HP drops, multiply by one times. Area is wider. Oh, increase the area damage. Okay. I wonder what else it would give. But anyway, let's see. Which ones are we finished with? We're almost done with a few of these. We'll have to move people around as we go. Wait, the people who aren't in my team... 
Hang on a second. Yeah, I can always just switch things out. But the people who aren't in my team won't be getting the experience bonus, right? Or experience from these fights. But none of them were done. So yeah, that's fine. As soon as they start finishing, I'll move the courts around. But anyway, okay, that's that. Okay, now we go to... Over here. I need to speak to you. Barrel. Oh, is that Red Moon Rose? You know these books? Of course. It's a sweeping novel about legendary creatures known as vampires. Published by the chapter. Though for reasons unknown, right as the books was completed, print came printing came to an untimely halt, making complete collections rare rather rare. As with any collectible, a small number of enthusiastics sought enthusiasts sought to obtain the full run of the book's print printing. Alas, every last person was complete who completed their collection met their end and in ways far too gruesome to even speak. You can be serious. No, it's nothing more than a rumor. Perhaps you will be perfectly safe as you continue to collect. Continue collecting, or perhaps not. This book set seems rather unusual. Stories like that creep me out. Not even in my darkest dreams did I imagine that you would end up collecting the entire run. Some of my fellow fans might even kill to be in your shoes. <laughs> yeah, she's not even hiding how much she wants these. Maybe I should hand them over. Yep, do you want them? Oh, I never expected that you would offer. Did my story chill you so much that even the sight of them gives you shivers? No, that's not it. I just thought they would belong to, they should belong to someone who actually wanted them. Thank you. I would be my pleasure to take them off your hands. It would hardly be fair to accept something so precious without offering you anything in return. Oh, I know. Perhaps this will suffice. Here you are. Nice. Oh, what is it? I stumbled upon it while building up my collection of peculiar objects. I'm unable to do anything with it, so I offer it to you. Alright, thanks. I suppose we should be leaving then. Alright. That's like four Zermillion or three. We have a decent chunk now. I think it's four. Okay. Um... still have two more books to give, but it doesn't tell me who to give it to. Let's see. We're done. Now we head to engineering building. Oh, hold on a second. Is that chunk of Samirian ore you've got there? Is that what this thing's called? Oh man, it really is. Stone's basically a super hard metal from a long time ago. I'd be able to modify your weapons into something insanely strong with one of them. As in, think of the strongest weapon you've ever had, and then think stronger. Really? Even one weapon that strong would be incredibly helpful, but you said this was an ancient metal. Are you sure you can use it? No sweat. This one famous horrible scientist figured out how to refine them not too long ago. I've read everything he's published on the subject, so I should be golden. If you got the materials, I've got the equipment to make magic happen. Even if you only have fragments, I can put them to use once you collect enough. You're quite the, e e the engineer. 
I'm sure they'd be invaluable to in exploring the old schoolhouse. Well, go through the usual customization process once you're all ready. Just think carefully before you commit. You're not going to find stones like these every day. We will. Continued you count on you to make these weapons great. Alright, so Stranger Modify Alright, okay, we can like, you know Um put our girl's face on her Argus, because we can. Um I'm guessing exchange weapon? Customize? Can we only make one weapon? Okay, we can only make one weapon. Where do we get these, though? From you? Um, okay. Student Union Building, I think, sells weapons for some reason. This one. This needs a really an ore. Okay, hang on. So of course we're gonna get make one for Reen. Oh, we have two. Okay, so I can make another one. Hmm. Who benefits the most from this? I think. I think, Laura does. Yeah, I think Laura will benefit the most from this, so we're gonna get make hers as well. And then wait, let me. What other weapons are there that we can make? And then this is for new material. Okay. So. Kind of confused. Okay. These are always a million ore, and this is where you material stuff. So we need the, this bow, staff, sword, guns. Oh, the Liam doesn't get a normal one. That's fine, I guess. I wish I didn't have to go back and forth to do this, but... Okay. So... This one, right? Wait, it's worse than what we have. Hopefully it's... Hmm. Hopefully it gets a lot better when it's upgraded. I don't have enough money, never mind. Where did all my money go? Anyway, um, no money for this either. Okay, selling everything I don't need. This isn't enough for be useful. Um, this isn't enough to be helpful either. And then I have EX. I shouldn't need more than that. Samarium powder. I'm gonna sell all these. Okay, that should be enough to get everything I need. Okay, so we need this. Sure, we'll put it. And then. This one?
and then this one. Okay, so that's where all the money went. I guess it takes a lot to upgrade these for some reason. Or maybe not, I don't know. Okay. And then... I don't have enough money to do anything else. There. There. Wait, did I make an extra one somehow? Wait, there's a 10% chance of just causing death? Okay, so that's why it has a little less stats. Okay. Um, let's stop here. Yeah, let's stop here. So the last thing I'll need to do is just equip quartz and equipment for everybody. And then... That'll be the last dungeon, probably, the last of the game, so dungeons usually don't take too long. So I'm assuming I should be able to finish everything tomorrow, but yeah. I'm gonna already save, right? Yeah, I already saved. Alright, hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to support me with... here it is. You can see the things there. You can see links down below the video and all that stuff. I have a bunch of links there as well. Um, but yeah, if you want to watch earlier in this um, playthrough and stuff like that, then you can watch them on YouTube. They're all up to uh fairly close to now they're catching up but yeah um and then twitter for any if you want to know when i start streaming what i'm going to stream all that stuff i give notifications there of course youtube videos all my, my past streams is are up there as well and yeah this has been the penultimate stream for trails of cold steel just probably one more left and that'll be it which will be day after tomorrow tomorrow we got more shadow hearts and then it'll be so wait, it's today's monday tomorrow so tuesday will be shadow hearts wednesday will be the last stream for treads of cold steel and then thursday will be another shadow hearts and then friday we will start back into um Sekiro, if I'm done with this game. Should be. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed. That'll be it. Just take care of yourselves. And I hope you had a great um, New Year's. Goodbye.